Amphotericin B, Wikipedia article audio. Amphotericin B is an antifungal medication used for serious fungal infections and leishmaniasis. The fungal infections it is used to treat include aspergillosis, blastomycosis, candidiasis, coccidioidomycosis, and cryptococcosis. For certain infections it is given with fluocytosine. It is typically given by injection into a vein. Common side effects include a reaction with fever, chills, and headaches soon after the medication is given, as well as kidney problems. Allergic symptoms including anaphylaxis may occur. Other serious side effects include low blood potassium and inflammation of the heart. It appears to be relatively safe in pregnancy. There is a lipid formulation that has a lower risk of side effects. It is in the polyene class of medications and works in part by interfering with the cell membrane of the fungus. Medical Uses Antifungal Amphotericin B was originally isolated from Streptomyces nodosis in 1955. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. It is available as a generic medication. The cost in the developing world of a course of treatment as of 2010 is between 162 and 229 US dollars. One of the main uses of amphotericin B is treating a wide range of systemic fungal infections. Due to its extensive side effects, it is often reserved for severe infections in critically ill or immunocompromised patients. It is considered first-line therapy for invasive mucormycosis infections, cryptococcal meningitis, and certain aspergillus and candidal infections. It has been a highly effective drug for over 50 years in large part because it has a low incidence of drug resistance in the pathogens it treats. This is because amphotericin B resistance requires sacrifices on the part of the pathogen that make it susceptible to the host environment, and too weak to cause infection. Lipid formulations of amphotericin B should not be used to treat urinary tract infections because they do not penetrate into the kidney or achieve adequate concentrations in the urine. Amphotericin B is often used in otherwise untreatable protozoan infections such as visceral leishmaniasis and primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. The following table shows the amphotericin B susceptibility for a selection of medically important fungi. Mic breakpoint Antiprotozoal Amphotericin B alone is insoluble in normal saline at a pH of 7. Therefore, several formulations have been devised to improve its intravenous bioavailability. The original formulation uses sodium deoxycholate to improve solubility. Amphotericin B deoxycholate is administered intravenously, though with frequent adverse effects as detailed in the side effects section. As the original formulation of amphotericin, it is often referred to as conventional amphotericin. Spectrum of Susceptibility In order to improve the tolerability of amphotericin and reduce toxicity, several lipid formulations have been developed. Liposomal formulations have been found to have less renal toxicity than deoxycholate and fewer infusion-related reactions. They are more expensive than amphotericin B deoxycholate. Ambesum is a liposomal formulation of amphotericin B for injection and consists of a mixture of phosphatidylcholine, cholesterol, and dysteroyl phosphatidylglycerol that in aqueous media spontaneously arrange into unilomular vesicles that contain amphotericin B. 
Guidelines recommend the use of lamb for CNS fungal infections due to better pharmacokinetics and CNS penetration but do note that this is based only on animal models. Route of Administration It was developed by NE Star Pharmaceuticals. It was approved by the FDA in 1997. It is marketed by Gilead in Europe and licensed to Estellas Pharma for marketing in the USA, and Sumitomo Pharmaceuticals in Japan. Fungisum is a generic liposomal complex of amphotericin B marketed by LifeCare Innovations of India. Intravenous Formulations A number of lipid complex preparations are also available. Abelsit was approved by the FDA in 1995. It consists of amphotericin B and two lipids in a 1 colon 1 ratio that form large ribbon-like structures. Amphotec is a complex of amphotericin and sodium cholesterol sulfate in a 1 colon 1 ratio. Two molecules of each form a tetramer that aggregate into spiral arms on a disc-like complex. It was approved by the FDA in 1996. Neither of these are true unilomular liposomes like ambesum. Deoxycholate A major barrier to the use of amphotericin in resource-poor settings is that it must be given intravenously. An oral preparation exists, but is not commercially available. The amphipathic nature of amphotericin along with its low solubility and permeability has posed major hurdles for oral administration given its low bioavailability. In the past it had been used for fungal infections of the surface of the GI tract such as thrush, but has been replaced by other antifungals such as nistatin and fluconazole. However, Recently novel nanoparticulate drug delivery systems such as AMBONP, nanosuspensions, lipid-based drug delivery systems including cochletes, self-emulsifying drug delivery systems, solid lipid nanoparticles and polymeric nanoparticles such as amphotericin B in pegylated polylactide coglycolide copolymer nanoparticles have demonstrated potential for oral formulation of amphotericin B. Liposomal Formulations Amphotericin B is well known for its severe and potentially lethal side effects. Very often, it causes a serious reaction soon after infusion, consisting of high fever, shaking chills, hypotension, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, headache, dyspnea and tachypnea, drowsiness and generalized weakness. The violent chills and fevers have been nicknamed shake and bake. This reaction sometimes subsides with later applications of the drug and may in part be due to histamine liberation. An increase in prostaglandin synthesis may also play a role. This nearly universal febrile response necessitates a critical professional determination as to whether the onset of high fever is a novel symptom of a fast-progressing disease, or merely the effect of the drug. To decrease the likelihood and severity of the symptoms, initial doses should be low, and increased slowly. Paracetamol, pethidine, diphenhydramine, and hydrocortisone have all been used to treat or prevent the syndrome, but the prophylactic use of these drugs is often limited by the patient's condition. Intravenously administered amphotericin B in therapeutic doses has also been associated with multiple organ damage. Kidney damage is a frequently reported side effect and can be severe and slash or irreversible. Less kidney toxicity has been reported with liposomal formulations and it has become preferred in patients with pre-existing renal injury. The integrity of the liposome is disrupted when it binds to the fungal cell wall, but is not affected by the mammalian cell membrane, so the association with liposomes decreases the exposure of the kidneys to amphotericin B which explains its less nephrotoxic effects. 
In addition, electrolyte imbalances such as hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia are also common. In the liver, increased liver enzymes and hepatotoxicity are common. In the circulatory system, several forms of anemia and other blood dyscrasias, serious cardiac arrhythmias, and even frank cardiac failure have been reported. Skin reactions, including serious forms, are also possible. Amphotericin B binds with ergosterol, a component of fungal cell membranes, forming pores that cause rapid leakage of monovalent ions and subsequent fungal cell death. This is amphotericin B's primary effect as an antifungal agent. It has been found that the amphotericin B slash ergosterol bimolecular complex that maintains these pores is stabilized by van der Waals interactions. Researchers have found evidence that amphotericin B also causes oxidative stress within the fungal cell, but it remains unclear to what extent this oxidative damage contributes to the drug's effectiveness. The addition of free radical scavengers or antioxidants can lead to amphotericin resistance in some species, such as Pseudosporium prolificans, without affecting the cell wall. Two amphotericins, amphotericin A and amphotericin B, are known, but only B is used clinically, because it is significantly more active in vivo. Amphotericin A is almost identical to amphotericin B, but has little antifungal activity. Lipid complex formulations Mammalian and fungal membranes both contain sterols, a primary membrane target for amphotericin B. Because mammalian and fungal membranes are similar in structure and composition, this is one mechanism by which amphotericin B causes cellular toxicity. Amphotericin B molecules can form pores in the host membrane as well as the fungal membrane. This impairment in membrane barrier function can have lethal effects. Ergosterol, the fungal sterol, is more sensitive to amphotericin B than cholesterol, the common mammalian sterol. Reactivity with the membrane is also sterol concentration dependent. Bacteria are not affected as their cell membranes do not contain sterols. By mouth Amphotericin administration is limited by infusion-related toxicity. This is thought to result from innate immune production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Nitrofuran the natural route to synthesis includes polyketide synthase components. The carbon chains of amphotericin B are assembled from 16C2 acetate and 3C3 propionate units by polyketide synthesis. Polyketide biosynthesis begins with the decarboxylative condensation of a dicarboxylic acid extender unit with a starter acyl unit to form a beta ketoacyl intermediate. The growing chain is constructed by a series of Clayson reactions. Within each module, the extender units are loaded onto the current ACP domain by acetyl transferase. The ACP-bound elongation group reacts in a Clayson condensation with the KS-bound polyketide chain. Ketoreductase, dehydratase, and enoyl reductase enzymes may also be present to form alcohol double bonds or single bonds. After cyclization, the macrolactone core undergoes further modification by hydroxylation, methylation, and glycosylation. The order of these processes is unknown. It was originally extracted from Streptomyces nodosus, a filamentous bacterium, in 1955, at the Squibb Institute for Medical Research from cultures of an undescribed streptomycete isolated from the soil collected in the Orinoco River region of Venezuela. Two antifungal substances were isolated from the soil culture, amphotericin A and amphotericin B, 
but B had better antifungal activity. For decades it remained it the only effective therapy for invasive fungal disease until the development of the azole antifungals in the early 1980s. Benzamidine, phosphorylcholine, neomycin Its complete stereo structure was determined in 1970 by an X-ray structure of the aniodoacetyl derivative. The first synthesis of the compounds naturally occurring in antiomeric form was achieved in 1987 by K. C. Nicolou. Side effects Interactions Mechanism of action Mechanism of toxicity It is a subgroup of the macrolid antibiotics, and exhibits similar structural elements. Currently, the drug is available in many forms. Either conventionally complexed with sodium deoxycholate, as a cholesterol sulfate complex, as a lipid complex, and as a liposomal formulation. The latter formulations have been developed to improve tolerability and decrease toxicity, but may show considerably different pharmacokinetic characteristics compared to conventional amphotericin B. Amphotericin name originates from the chemical's amphoteric properties. It is commercially known as, fungilin, fungizone, abelset, ambesum, fungisum, amphosil, amphotec, halitzon. Chagas disease, nitroimidazole. Pentavalent antimonials. Biosynthesis. History Society and Culture Formulations Names <laughs>